double overtime win against conference foe UNCG. What did you see out of your guys late in the game that kind of helped capture this win? Just really resilient. I mean, it didn't matter who came in the game, what foul trouble we had, what disappointments we had, things we could control, things we couldn't. Uh, guys just stepped up and made plays. Um, credit them, they kept fighting, they kept coming back. A couple long threes late, a couple offensive rebounds to threes that killed us. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, we did enough to win the ball game, and that's what I'm most proud of. It was another collective effort. And the way we came out in the second half and the way we came out in the first half, we just got to continue to expand on that for 40 minutes. Like you said, a couple of key foul outs. Uh, Trevor went out, I think, with eight minutes left. Storm went out a little later. How did you guys readjust the game plan a little bit? Obviously, going into two overtimes doesn't help, but just talk to me about your adjustments going through. Yeah, we just we just really wanted to stay simple with the game plan. Stops and rebounds, we frustrated. They held them to 38% from the field. Some of the threes they made late really helped that percentage, but I thought we did a good job of making them miss. It's just unfortunate sometimes we didn't get the rebound. We were gritty tonight. We were tough. How about that charge by Chavez late? It's those type of plays that make Wofford special. We got Wofford toughness throughout our, our culture, our locker room, and uh, we like guys who play that way. Speaking of a couple, Chavez Goodwin, I think ended up with a double-double. Nate found his stride early in the game. Just talk to me about both of their performances and their efforts. Yeah, they've been in the gym. Uh, hard work pays off. They don't really listen to outside noise. They just keep grinding, keep going to the film room, keep learning. Again, Wofford toughness, and uh, really proud of those guys, those two guys specifically, but our whole group. Our whole bench was awesome all night, and uh, it was a collective deal. And how about these, these fans? Showed out. It's just such a good home court advantage, I think, and that's going to continue. What do you got to do to take the vibe down to Sanford? Got to enjoy it for the night. These guys work too hard not to have fun and enjoy it and be with each other and celebrate, but we got to get right to work tomorrow. Hard day of rest, recovery. And then we'll start class Monday and then get on the bus Tuesday and see what we can do. Double overtime win against a conference foe, UNCG. Just talk to me about what you guys had to do to prevail tonight. Uh, we had to be tough from the get-go. I know it's going to be a tough game. Just play, They play so hard, and they're well coached. And, uh, I mean, they got some great players on their team. So we knew from the get-go it's not going to be an easy win. Uh, so we had to come out here ready to go. Our scouting for is great. Uh, and I think we followed it to the T, and that's how we came up with a W. Tough matchup against Dickey out there. A couple other big tough matchups, which ended up with 14 and 10. Just talk to me about what was working for you out there. Uh, just going to what I know best. My game, you know, it didn't matter who was in front of me. I feel like one on one, nobody can guard me. So overall, I feel like I just got to where I need to get to. Got to my spots. Got rebounds. Uh, my teammates found me. Ryan Larson found me a pass in the baseline. I dunked it. So I mean, I just found my spots and played my game, and uh, everything else fell into place like it usually does. Took a big charge at the end of that game. Kind of swing momentum a little bit. I mean, just talk to me about the defensive effort that you guys showed to stop a really productive UNCG team. Oh, uh, a lot of grit. Like I said, our scouting report was great. So we knew what they like to do. We know what they like to get to, and we try our best to, uh, you know, stop it. I mean, two overtimes. I mean, it's hard to stop a team that's really efficient like they are. But uh, I mean, we came out there, we fought the scouting report, we played our roles, and we did what we needed to do to get out a win. So I'm happy we got out with a win. First home win here the season in conference. What do you guys have to do to take this on the road uh, to Sanford next week? Just duplicate what we've been doing. I mean, I know we had a tough loss to ECSU by one point, but I mean, that game could go win any, either way, just like this game went either way. So I feel like what we're doing right now is great. I mean, there's always room for improvement. I don't say, not, don't get me wrong, but uh, I feel like we're ready for the next game. And I feel like we'll be ready to go. Talk to me about the team's resiliency hanging in there throughout the <laughs> it was It was great. You know, they. To be able to, they made a bunch of big shots <clears throat> near, near the end of the game and in overtime, and to be able to, you know, stay positive, stay together, and end up coming out with a win against such a great team, you know, it shows a lot about our team that we're never going to stop, and we're never going to quit. Shots were falling kind of early for you. I yes, mean, talk to me about your game today and how that kind of helped push you through throughout those two overtimes. It, you know, I feel like I did pretty good. I, I, mean, I feel like, you know, I just brought a lot of energy for my team, made sure we stayed together, you know, being like the, being the leader on the team. And, you know, make sure we stayed locked in. And, you know, my energy and stuff kept me going, kept me, you know, kept me motivated through the entire game. And, you know, I don't know how. I tried to make it through it. I did pretty good, I thought. But, yeah, it was, it was a good game. Another energetic guy, Chevy Goodwin, man. Oh, man. Double-double, I think, tonight. Just talk to me about what he brings to the team when he's on the floor. He, he brings, you know, he's a huge, huge body, you know, defensively. He's, you know, he's our best low post defender. He can test a lot of shots. And, he, you know, he snatches everything in the air. And on the offensive end, they have to respect him, or he can score. You know, one-on-one -on -one coverage, they can score, and he can score on them anytime he wants to. And, you know, him to get that charge and to be so, you know, to be able to get that was huge, big time, and it shows you know how much he cares about, how much he wants to win. And so he did a great job.
first conference home win of the season <laughs> here. What do you guys have to do as a team to take it on the road and then bring it back here? We, you know, we can't, we can't uh, be happy about this win. You know, we, for tonight we can be happy, you know, celebrate and everything like that. But after tonight, it's over. You know, Sanford's not gonna take it lightly just because we beat UNCG and just because we went into double overtime. They're gonna come out ready to, you know, ready to beat us down, especially after what we did last year. So you know, we, we know how hard it's gonna be, but we're ready for it.